Hi guys, it's Francia. You ready for some chair yoga? just using the quad and the muscles of the leg to hold it. Let's breathe here. One, two, don't need to do much more to your leg, just let it hover. Three, exhale, lower it down. Let's do the other side. This engages the abdominal muscles as well. And if you lift up to the chest and rib cage, you're not using your back muscles to lift you. One, two, again, relax the shoulders back and down and keep hollowing out through the lower belly, lifting up through that leg. So we're warming up the body. Exhale, lower down. Good. Now, we're going to go into a forward fold. So turn away from your desk. Don't want to hit your desk. Open your legs pretty wide and let your elbows fold in between. Relax the shoulders. Remember, if you're in a rolly chair, be real careful because the chair could slip out from underneath you. So keep your feet firmly planted on the floor. And then if it feels good, maybe release one shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Let's do two more. Inhale, right shoulder down back to center, exhale, left shoulder, inhale, back to center, right, last time, exhale, let's hold this one a little bit more, if you want to try to open up through the hips a little bit more, you can let your hands open out, the palms press into the thighs, and just let your right shoulder dip, and then inhale, back up, exhale, we'll do the other side, so you get to feel here how the side body feels. You're just warming up the body easily here. Don't want to go too fast, too much, too hard. Inhale, slowly come back up and walk those feet in. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, moving a little bit here into the arms. So keeping your feet grounded. Now this is really important, you guys, because if your feet are not firmly on the floor, this gel will slide back and forth. I like using the chair because I like to move around a little bit, but you can always use a chair that's more stable. Inhale, lift the arms, reach and extend. Now, gaze up towards your thumbs or towards the space between your hands. Observe how your shoulders feel here. Maybe there's a need to bend the elbows. Maybe there's a need to bend the elbows a whole lot. But if this feels okay, roll the shoulders back and down, reach through the fingers, maybe bring the palms together and try to draw the elbows towards each other. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, rise up. Press firmly through the soles of the feet. Press into the feet as you reach the fingertips up. Gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. Be mindful of your neck. Inhale, arms up. If your neck starts to bother you, just keep the gaze forward or just slightly up. Don't open your throat too much if it creates tension in the neck. Reach and extend. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. Release the left arm down. Right arm up. Extend. Exhale, fold. Maybe gazing out towards underneath that right arm. Reaching to the fingertips. Inhale, back to center. And release. Other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Just reaching that right arm down, extending the left arm up and over, and gazing out from underneath. A little bit of a rotation in the torso. And inhale, come up. Good, release. Going for a nice, easy twist. Right hand on the outside of the left knee, and you can bring your left hand to the arm of your chair, or even the back of your chair, if you can find it. It's a little too hard, just bring it to the arm. Inhale, lengthen spine, and then exhale, rotate the torso. Look over left shoulder. One, easy grounded soles of the feet firm into the floor. Two, three, steady breathing. Four, and five. Exhale, release the head, release the body. Observe here how the shoulders and the torso feels. We'll do the other side. So left hand to the outside of the right knee, right hand to the arm of the chair or the back of the chair. But again, bring it to the arm is a nice easy place to bring it to and you can lengthen through the spine with the inhale and rotate to the back as you exhale looking back over right shoulder one easy steady calm breathing two three four and five inhale 
roll yourself back to center as you exhale, shake it out. Okay, one more stretch for the hips. This is actually really good for our hips. You can also do this sitting down. So let's take the right foot on top of the left thigh, let the right knee relax, and feel that openness in the hip. If this is enough, don't need any more, stay upright, use your abdominal muscles, lift the heart, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, hold there and breathe. Or I'll give you the option to lean forward, find your desk if it's in front of you, or you can bring your hands to your shin and then let your body rest down, holding here. One, easy, calm, steady breathing. Two, make sure the left foot is grounded and rooted, the belly drawn in. Three, shoulders back and away from the ears. Four, and five. Inhale, lift the head, lengthen forward, exhale there, and slowly release. Nice. Other side, left foot up on top. Release that left knee down. Again, situate yourself, make sure your hips feel stable, right foot is grounded and rooted, staying upright. This is a great place to be. Don't have to add anything else. You can also fold forward. One. I'll just demonstrate the, up, the lifted up position, but remember, you can always fold your body forward. Two. Easy, steady breathing. Three, maybe you lean in a little bit. Four, just observe how your body is giving you room to come into the posture. And five, if your head is down, inhale, lift the head, lengthen the spine, exhale there. Inhale, slowly come up. Good, release the leg. Let's shake out those legs for a moment. Shake one leg, shake the other leg. And now we're gonna stand up. And we're gonna go for a little bit of a tree pose. So hold on to the back of your chair, balance yourself on your right foot, come up onto the left toes, open the knee up to the side. So let the knee open up and then slide the heel of the left foot close to the right ankle. You can stay here, you can go a little higher to the calf, but don't go much higher than that. We wanna keep it chill. Slowly steady breathing. One, if you find yourself not needing the chair, maybe bring those hands to prayer position. Two, or you can take one hand at a time. Three, lengthen through your spine, steady, strong breath, right leg contracted, four, and five. Exhale, release, release that left leg, shake it out of it, and we'll do the other side. So plant your left foot firmly on the floor, toe, right toes on the, on the floor, and then take the right heel to the inside of the left ankle. Stay there, find your length in your spine, find your tree, or take that foot to the inside of the calf, keep opening the knee to the side, and if you want to challenge your balance, see how that feels. Maybe release the other two. And sometimes trees sway a little bit. So if you find yourself swaying, no worries. Three, if anybody walks into the office and asks what the heck you're doing, just smile and say you're doing chair yoga. Four, and five. Exhale, release the hands, release the foot. Shake out those legs and come back to your chair feet separate but hip width apart letting your hands rest on your lap or on the arms of your chair extend through the top of the head soften the shoulders come back into the awareness of breath observe here if your breath is a little bit labored or tired or if it feels natural and steady see if you can deepen your inhale just a little bit and lengthen your exhale just a tad bit Try to release and relax. Let go of any tension throughout the body. Take a few more breaths here. Feeling every muscle, every tendon, every ligament in your body soften. And with the next exhale breath, we'll draw the palms together at the center of the heart, symbolizing that union of body, mind, and spirit. I want to thank you all for all the amazing work you do for our patients, all the amazing work you do for this hospital. And I hope that this practice brings you a little bit of ease, a little bit of peace, and a little bit of movement through the body. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Mm -hmm.